Come on. Come on. Jesus. Wow. The first change is obvious. Nick's got customers. Nice purse. Very nice purse. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very well. Good to see you. Yeah. Good evening. Chef, how are you? Very well, thank you. Timmy, how are you? Smashing. Smashing. Good man. Me. Oh, dear. Hey. You have got your shit together. Uh, seriously, uh, turnover? Um, we're, up, we're averaging four and a half to five grand a week. Two. Top week's been eight. Top week's been eight? Yeah. That's great. Yep. One big question. Have you got a spare table of one anywhere? Yep. Cool. Thanks fuck for that. I'm not coming all this way and not eating. The first thing that struck me when I walked in here, you know, was the bus. The place is full, 47 kilos on a Wednesday night. Kingsling's empty. You know, this must be the busiest place within miles. The exciting thing about the menu is everything's sourced locally, which is nice. Um, if it tastes as good as it reads, then it's down to him. He can't fuck this one. I'll go for the um, whole sole, the local sole, please, with a cockle butter. Um, and just maybe before I start, can I try uh, onion barge? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck they're doing here. Where did that one come from? Timmy, I think, suggested it. Timmy the cat. Timmy the cat. So far, so good. But I'm reserving judgment until after I've eaten. Not the kind of thing you expect to find on the menu here. However, it's fucking delicious. So, who am I to complain? There is nothing pretentious about what's been put on the plate here. And the minute the food arrives, you don't think about some pretentious chef in the corner trying to massage his ego. It's good, honest, simple food. That's all it has to be. It's not fucking rocket science. Thank you. Lovely. And that's local. Excellent. You haven't even asked me how my dinner is yet. Wouldn't even dream of it, not until you finish. I'll let you start bringing it's cold, Fucking hell. Jesus. Fish, cockle butter, parsley, sautéed local seps, and sodium potatoes. Rustic, simple, and so unpretentious is extraordinary. And miles in front to what I experienced last time around here. That was nice, Nick, very nice. Simple, honest, and uh, great flavours. For you, what's changed in terms of... I've got it, I've got it back in here. Have you, though? Yeah, really. Is it, is it in there? Yeah. This is the first time I can quite honestly say, and I mean really fucking honestly, you're cooking for your customers, not your ego. It's only going to be a matter of time before you're financially fucking stable. That, oh, we're yeah. nearly there already. Seriously? Batman's paid right up to date. All the supplies are back within 30 days. And all the wine supplies are paid up, up scratch. Yeah. Uh, Timmy, the budget was delicious, by the way. Good. Can I have the recipe, please? No. You tight little fucker. I'm fucking... I, I've given you my recipes. You've had a personality transplant, haven't you? Where did you get this from? There are a lot more chefs I'd like to give it to. Tell me where the shop is and I'll send the fuckers to it. All jokes apart, don't fucking change. No, I won't. And don't put your fucking ego in front of your I'll customers. I'll show you the menu. I'll show you the menu no, no. tomorrow. Don't put your fucking ego in front of your customers. I won't. Your success is the buzz in that dining room. Definitely. The minute that buzz is gone, you're fucked. Yeah. Keep it there. Definitely. Yes? Yeah. Well done. Thank you. I really mean that. Huh? Thank you very Stubborn much. Stubborn fucker, but well done. Yeah, I'm amazed. What a fucking turnaround. Extraordinary. Good, honest, simple food, local produce, great service, no bits of bullshit with olive oil and all pretentious crap everywhere, no fucking flea-bitten sofa sat there, no canapes, just a really good evening, nice buzz, and I really hope he fucking makes it. He's got a recipe for success here, and... Um, He'd be stupid to change it. Pretty good.